Let's have a look at now how to edit some of these dimensions or if something goes wrong with the dimensioning, how do we fix it? So let's go back to the dimensioning tool and we'll not change the settings at all and we'll try to do that dimension on the left hand side again. If I do the same thing, so just clicking on the face of the wall, so I'm picking up the wall thickness in each of those locations, double click, place, sometimes this will happen where it doesn't complete the full dimension string for you. The main reason for this happening is that the walls might not be perfectly parallel. If you have this problem, we can solve this in a couple different ways. One method is to select the existing line, the dimension string, and add to it. If I select the dimension string, hold control or command and click, I can add to this dimension string. Similarly, if I missed a dimension and wanted to add another one in, so let's add another wall here, just to make sense of what I'm trying to show. If I wanted to add this interior wall, I could select a, an existing dimension string and click the wall to add it in one go as well. As I explained before, when we place dimensions, if when we're placing the dimension, so let's do this one more time, if I'm clicking and it gives me a circle, that circle means it's active. If I click somewhere, that was a, a bad example, if I click somewhere and it gives me a square, that means it's a static dimension. It's not related to anything in particular and it won't update. It won't change automatically if the model changes. If we have some if we're dimensioning something that is too small for the dimension, or another way of saying that, if the scale means that the dimensions are too big for what we're dimensioning, we'll see that it bunches the dimension text. So I'll move this away for a second. What you'll see is that the dimension will create these hierarchies where they overlap or they project forward or up the page in this case in order to be able to fit everything in. Let's undo that and we'll change this scale back again. We can see that we've got some strange dimensions here. So when we're looking at this interior dimension, we have 1839, 2139, 3002. So I don't want those little numbers. I don't want the last number, the zero or the, the, the ones, to be anything other than zero or five. So another way of saying that, I, I want to have a tolerance of five millimeters. Now this wall, let me separate this, this wall and this wall are both defined by the set out of the exterior wall. So I can't change those, or at least I shouldn't change those. And the error doesn't lie there. We see that if we add up these numbers, we can rationalize the dimension of these three interior walls in a different way. So we're now going to stretch the model in order to stretch this dimension. If I use my marquee, in this case I only want to use my single story marquee or my thin marquee, I'm going to place the marquee over this area. I don't want to move the window so I'm trying to stay inside of these window areas. In this case, remember this is the one I want to change, so 2139, I want to make it 2140. So I'm only moving in a millimeter. Edit, reshape, stretch. I'm clicking inside the box, moving it to the left, holding down D to keep it straight, D, one millimeter, enter. So we see that's changed both of them here. This one now says 2140, this 110 shifted across a millimeter, so this one now says 3001. So we want to make this 3000, and we want to make this one 1940. So that we'll do the same thing. However, we can't just do this, because this wall here is continuous. So in this case, 
we need to shift this one as well. Now, thankfully, we see the same problem has occurred. F 2401, 9529. So we've got the similar problem because these walls were just randomly placed. They weren't placed dimensionally. So I'm going to be very clever or careful with the way that I set up my, my marquee this time. Edit, reshape, stretch, and I want to move this all back to the right one millimeter. Now we have all of these numbers interior being nice round numbers. And that's fixed this top one as well.